be real stupid, but turn it down to real stupid, but. Shalom, shalom, let me see. Shalom, shalom, Israel, most high in Christ, bless. Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. Uh, another daily bread. I'm Captain Aye. I'm Sir Emmanuel. And we're going over abstain from fleshly lust today. And then lust can be many different things. So look, Israel, we finna stand up, we finna face the east. Let's send up the prayers for the day. Blow trumpet. Father, thank you for allowing us to see another glorious Sabbath you have, you, that you made between thee and the children of Israel, Father. An a everlasting covenant that you made with the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're scattered to the four corners of the earth. Father, we ask you to send up blessed. We ask you to send up. We ask you to continue to watch over our leadership that's traveling throughout the right, our rightful countries and rightful cities to, to preach your gospel, Father. We ask you to heal those among us, among among us that is sick, Father. Heal those among us that is sick. Heal those among us that have different illnesses of the body, Father. Heal those among us that are weak, Father. Strengthen those among among us that's weak, Father. Continue to allow your spirit to dwell in us. In your name, in your son's name, we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, let's get into it. The first scripture is going to be Galatians 5, and we're going to start with verse 16. Galatians 5, verse 16. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, and verse 16. This I say then, mm -hmm. walk in the Spirit. So we always got to walk, we always got to be walking in the Spirit. Why, we, why would we always want to be walking in the Spirit? You want to know why? Because your spirit is willing to keep every commandment in the Bible. It's the flesh that's weak. This was weak, the flesh. And guess who knows that the best? Satan. This who knows it? Satan. So watch this. Go to Matthew 26, and I think it's verse 41. The book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray uh -huh. that ye enter not into temptation. Come on. The spirit indeed is willing. You see that? It says indeed. Your spirit is indeed is willing to keep the commandments of God. But, but what? But the flesh. The what? But the flesh. Come on. Is weak. This was weak, the flesh. And guess who know this? Satan. Satan. That's why you got you to gotta learn to abstain from your fleshly lust that you used to have in the world. That's why you got to fight off that old man every day. That's why Paul said, I die daily. You got to fight and kill that old man every day. But the question is, are you willing to kill that old man and woman every day? Are you willing to kill that old man and woman every day? You got to be willing to kill that old man and that old woman every day. Watch this. Uh... Go back to Galatians 5 and 16 and start back at verse 16. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. This I say then, uh -huh. walk in the spirit, mm -hmm. and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So when you walking in the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust, for, lust of the flesh. Now, what's the spirit? It says we, we be walking in the spirit. Now, we got to let the people know what the spirit is. Let's get, get that for me. Let's see what the spirit is, all right? The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Come on. It is the spirit that quickens. It says the spirit. It says it's the spirit that quickens. Come on. The flesh profiteth nothing. So the, the, the flesh, it profit nothing. Why? Because it's weak. Read. The words that I speak unto you. Uh-huh. They are spirit, uh -huh. and they are life. You see, you see that it says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. That was that what gives us life in spirit, the word of God. That's what's gonna keep you from them fleshly lusts. And we finna go through some of them fleshly lusts because it ain't just a a a a, a, a lust. When brothers heard the word lust, they just think sexual. Lust ain't just sexual. Lust is a desire that you that you want or you want uh, uh, or that you think you need to have. That's that's what lust is—a desire or uh, or something that you really want. 
but it's, it's something that you don't need. That's what people don't understand. So it's different types of lust that everybody is dealing with. Yes, some brothers are dealing with lust on a sexual level, but a lot of brothers dealing with lust. And uh, it's a, di- a lot of different things that you can lust after. A lot of brothers lust after money. Yeah, you, a brother probably was washing their car all the way up until the time of sundown yesterday. <laughs> so watch this. <laughs> Read what you got, officer. Go back to Galatians 5. <laughs> Galatians chapter 5, verse 17. Come on. For the flesh lusted against the spirit. It's, they warn against each other. They, 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 they always edit. It's like uh, it's like uh, twin brothers. They, uh, they, they, they got different different opinions on the situation. Right. They, they rivals. Yeah, they're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Your flesh versus your spirit. Matter of fact, what what, what made me uh, uh, think of flesh warring against the spirit is. This new movie that Will Smith uh bringing out, and I saw the trailer of it yesterday. I forgot the name of it. But it's like he going against himself. Mm. And it's just, it's just like your flesh warring against your spirit. So I'm telling you, I forgot the name of the trailer. I want to wanna find the name of that trailer. But I'm telling you, it, it's like your flesh warring against your spirit. So watch this. Keep reading. And the spirit what, Hold on. What's, what's the name of it? Gemini Man, that's the name of it. Gemini Man, we're gonna look at that trailer. If hey, if y'all get a chance to try to see, can you get that trailer pulled up? Watch this, read what you have. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, uh-huh. and the spirit against the flesh. Your spirit warned against the flesh. Read. These are contrary the one to the other, uh-huh. so that she cannot do the things that she would. What, 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 what's the things that she would? To keep the commandments. Right. <laughs> that's what. Your, your flesh is keeping you from keeping the commandments. Your spirit is what's helping you keep the commandments. <laughs> Watch this. Keep reading. But if you be led of the spirit. Well, well that's what we want to be led by. You want to be led by the word of God. You don't want to be led by your own mind because that's been our problem now our whole lives. We was leading ourselves, thinking with our own minds. Now the Bible thinks for us, and the Bible, that's what leads us. You know, that's, that's, this was leading us in our walk, the word of God. It's not us ourselves. We knew how we was walking. And the most I was like, the way he walking, I'm going to end up putting him to death. So what the most I do, the most I poured his spirit out upon us. That's, that's what the most I did. He poured his spirit out upon us. We got to understand how special we are for the most how to pour his spirit out upon us. And, know, and, and now we know that we are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That we are God's chosen people. We got to understand that's a great feeling. Why you think all other nations hate that thing? So guess what we got to learn how to do? We got to learn how to always be walking in the spirit and not in the flesh. So watch this. Keep reading. You, they got their tray up? Okay. Keep working on it. Watch this. Keep reading. But if you be led of the spirit. By the way, but if you be led of the word of God. Ye are not under the law. Come on. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. It says now the works of the flesh, they're going to end up manifesting themselves. So the works of the flesh going to manifest themselves, read. Which are these? Uh-huh. Adultery. The first one, it says adultery. The first one, it says adultery. Now, a lot of brothers can lust after other brothers' wives, mm. uh, after other men's wives. That's what a brother lust is because he'll think, hey, hey, I'm a pimp. He, he think he got a gift. He, he think that a lot of brothers think that's a gift. That ain't a gift. <laughs> that ain't a gift at all. So watch this. Go to Hebrews 13, verse 4 first. Go to Hebrews 13, verse 4. This is how you're going to abstain from that uh, 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 adultery. Watch this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable. You see that? Marriage is an honorable thing. Come on. In all. In the bed and the fire. Whatever you do with your wife in the bedroom, that's between y'all. Come on. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So it says, boy, whoremongers and adulterers, that's who God going to judge. So it says the first one was adultery. So we got to understand marriage is the honorable thing in the sight of God. But if a brother sit up there and he and that's what his lust is, he ain't going to find that thing honorable. It, that's not going to be honorable in his sight. He's going to be looking at ways to sit up there and figure out ways on how he can sit up there and, 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 and destroy that marriage. Believe it or not, because that's what he's going to end up doing, destroying that marriage. And a lot of brothers don't care. A lot of brothers do not care. So watch this. Uh, go back to Galatians 5. 
We got that trailer. Watch this. Just play that trailer right fast. Watch this. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Watch this. Play that right fast. Watch this. This is what I was saying. The flesh versus the spirit. Watch this. You see, says press pause. You, you, you press pause. You, you, you see, the first thing it, it asks him, what, it, it says, why is it so hard to what? Kill this man. What man? That old man. Why is it so hard to kill that old man? Why is it so hard? Because it is flesh, man. I'm telling you, press play. You know what he's talking about? He said, you had the chance to keep the commandments. <laughs> Flesh versus the spirit. Know why? Because you your own worst enemy. That's why. <laughs> so I got the hey, I'm telling you, this this how it is. This, this how it is. It's the same way he was fighting himself in that move in that movie. This how the the flesh and the spirit is worn against each other. This is exactly how your flesh and your spirit is worn against each other. He said, he said, uh 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 I uh, almost he said uh he said uh he said uh he almost had him. He said, I almost had him. He said, I almost had him. I almost had him. So, but they're just showing you right there that you're going to have to kill the old man. You're going to have to kill the old man. So I showed that because that's how your flesh and your spirit is actually worn against each other. So watch this. Remember, we on, uh, 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 we on adultery. So watch this. We on adultery. If a brother lust is sleeping with other men's wives, you know, like I just read, marriage ain't going to be honorable in his eyes. So watch this. Go from there. Give me that in Sir Rock. S uh, sitting out with another man wife. Sir Rock now. A brother ain't going to care about this right here. Brother going to be ready to wine and dine. <laughs> See, I'm going to buy you the most expensive things. The book of Sir Rock, chapter 9, verse 9. Sit not at all with the Matter of fact, start at verse 8. Verse this, eight. This would have killed him. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. And, and, and a beautiful woman that you're looking at, is, is she, she, she married. Read. And look not upon another's beauty. Don't look upon another's beauty. All your beauty that you have is right there within your wife. Come on. For many have been deceived. Many have been what? Deceived. A lot of brothers don't even be understanding. It, 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 it's the... What you looking at is what that's what's deceiving you because what you looking at is makeup, weave, and a lot of lipstick. Hmm. That's what a lot of brothers don't even be understanding. Read. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. And many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Come on. For herewith love is kindled as a fire. Watch this. Sit not at all with another man's wife. The Bible teaches us not to sit with another man's wife. But when you got that lust and that desire to have another man's wife, you ain't going to worry about uh, this scripture. You ain't going to care about not sitting down with her. You gonna, Every chance you get, you're going to try to be around her. Every chance you get. Come on. 
nor sit down with her in thine arms. Man, you going to make sure. You, you, you going to be that affectionate brother towards her. Hey, Shalom, sis, how you doing? You going to be that brother that's always hugging her. Rick? And spend not thy money with her at the wine. You see that? Let's go out to, uh, 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 what's that, uh, 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 uh happy hour. Mm. Let's go out to happy hour. You already know what's going to happen when she get too many drinks. Happy. Yeah, she going to be real happy, <laughs> sis. Look, you had too many drinks. Look, look I'm going to take you to my house for you can, uh, for it, for it can wear off. Uh, you, it's going to wear off all right. Mm. It's going to wear off all right. Watch this, Rick. Least thine heart incline unto her. What's, what's your heart? Your mind. Your mind going to incline to her. Your mind. And matter of fact, what's that? Give me that one. What's that one in Judith? When she says, uh, her mind, uh, yeah. Watch this. Your mind going to incline unto her. We're going to come right back here. Give me that. The book of Judith, chapter 16, verse 9. Mm hmm. Her sandals ravished his eyes. Uh huh. Her beauty took his mind prisoner. You see that? Her beauty. That's what that what happened. Her beauty took his mind prisoner. That's why I says you gonna incline your heart gonna incline unto her. Why is this? Keep is that is that it on that? And the falchion passed through his neck. So watch this. Go back and finish that up. Sirach so chapter 9, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her and, at the wine. And, and, and with, his, with, with his lust and his desire, what he'll do is he'll treat her and take her out in better places than he would do his wife. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's, what their brother, that's what their brother do, this, his lust is uh, always uh, talking and sleeping with another man's uh, wife. Watch this, Rick. Least thine heart incline unto her. Least your mind, your mind gonna incline to her. That's what, your mind. Now she on your mind. But how many more other sisters on your mind also? Remember, this is something that you desire. This your lust that you love to have. Remember, you, you, he, 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 remember, he like Baskin Robin. He like all 31 flavors. Cause watch this, read. And so through thy desire. Through, through, his, through his what? Desire. You see that? that? That lust is a desire that you have. It's a desire that you have. Watch this, read. They'll fall into destruction. But their desire will lead you to destruction. Why? Because you ain't walking in the spirit. You walking in the flesh. You thinking fleshly. You, you ain't walking in the spirit. You walking in the flesh. And with us being in this truth, we always going to be want to walk in the spirit. And that's walking in the word of God. Walking in truth. That's what's going to keep us safe. That's what's going to keep us on the right path, us walking in truth. So watch this. Let's go back to Galatians 5. So we now we know it says, uh, don't sit at all with another man's wife because it says, it says through your desire, because that's a desire that you have. Your desire is for you to continue to sleep with different men wives because that was, uh, 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 I guess that was, uh, Keeps your, uh, what's it called? A gentleman, uh, a drilling flowing, mm -hmm. rushing. That's, that's his rush right there. Yeah. You know how Esau rushes to jump jump off cliffs backwards with a little short string? And they can pop back up and they head hit a rock or something. And then he is, his rush is sleeping with other men's wives. So <laughs> let's go back to Galatians 5. Galatians <laughs> chapter 5, verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, uh -huh. which are these. Adultery. It says adultery. So watch it. Go to uh, uh, Matthew 5 and 27. Watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 27. Uh huh. You have heard that it was said by them of old time. By them of old time. Who was the them? The Israelites. <laughs> That's who the them is, the Israelites. Come on. Thou shalt not commit adultery. It says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Come on. But I say unto you, uh -huh. that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. You see that? Even the thought of you thinking of this brother or uh, wife, you not already committed adultery. You over there thinking of all the things that you, uh, that you could do. 
while licking your lips like you LL Cool J. And that's what some brothers do. They, they only lick their lips when they, see on, they, when they see certain sisters. You got to watch them brothers that do that LL. <laughs> you got to watch them brothers that do that LL. Watch them. <laughs> For real, that's what brothers do. Brothers put their LL along, lick their lips. Lips be shiny as hell. No Carmax. No Carmax. Brothers' lips be shiny as hell when they see this certain sister. <laughs> Watch this. Go to Sir Rock 25, <laughs> 21. Because I'm telling you, that's, what, that's how it is. Christ said, man, if you even look upon that woman to lust after her, you done already committed adultery already. So watch this. Read what you got. Sirach chapter 25, verse 21. Uh -huh. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. So the Bible letting us know you won't find yourself in them situations if you would not stumble at the beauty of a woman. The beauty that you're supposed to be desiring and, 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 that, you, and that you should want is the beauty of your, your own wife that you have. That's the beauty and desire that you should, that's the beauty in the woman that you should, that you should be desiring all the time. But when you the man is uh, 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 your lust and your desires to have another man's wife, your wife ain't gonna be enough for you. You gonna always uh, you gonna always need another type of woman. Why? Because of your mind. Because your mind. But why? Because you scared to kill that old man. A lot of us scared to kill that old man. That's all it is. A lot of us is scared to kill that old man and that old woman. Don't be scared. Yeah, you ain't gonna catch the charge. It's spiritual. <laughs> Just stop thinking of Connor, bro. A kill. Yeah, kill that old man every damn day. Hmm. Bro, kill. Now they want us to kill. That's how I do it. They take word. Oh, yeah, they teaching us to kill now. No, we teaching you to kill that old man and that old woman that's inside of you, that's, ri that's rising up every day, trying to remind you that the world, that you, uh, that you missing something out there. You ain't missing nothing. You ain't missing nothing. There ain't nothing out there but death. For real, though. So watch this. Where we at, officer? Uh, it's Sir 25. Mm -hmm. fin uh, finish up on that. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Uh-huh. And desire her not. It's the, do, do what? Desire her not. You see that? It's a desire that you have. It's a desire that you have. And it ain't the desire that you have, that, that new creature that's in Christ. That desire is coming from that old man that you're supposed to kill. That's where the desire, come, it desire is coming from. That old man that you're supposed to kill. That's why Paul said, I die daily. You got to kill that old man and that old woman every single day. Come on. Desire her not for pleasure. Desire her not for what? For pleasure. All you want is to uh, 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 smack, uh, smack cheeks. That's it. All you want to do is smack cheeks. That's it. You don't, it, and it's crazy. It says, for her pleasure. And give me Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Because it says her pleasure. Let me do the Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17. And brothers hear this scripture all the time. Brothers hear this scripture all the time. Watch this. Read what you got, officer. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Come on. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So the Bible says there should be no whores of the daughters of Israel. There wouldn't be whores of the daughters of Israel if us if us men was right. Vice versa. But it started with us men. But if, if if we was right, if we was right, guess what? We 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 wouldn't whore our sisters out. If we was keeping the commandments and the faith in Christ as a nation, there wouldn't be no whores of the daughters of Israel. There wouldn't be. But we, all our men, we have that desire. Why? Because that's what we was taught. We was taught that in captivity, in slavery. They made us breeders. They made us breeders and they made our women bed witches. So watch this. That's why it's hard. That's why we love sex so much. That's why they, they, uh, that's why they, 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 they named you. And you still going by these names. Breeders, Mandingo. All the uh, uh, young buck, thoroughbred. Yes, you was the thoroughbred. They weren't talking about no damn horse. You was the horse. Yeah, you was the Kentucky Derby. For real. So why? Uh, watch this. Let's go back. Give me Proverbs 6 and 25. Because we talking about the fleshly, we talking about the lust, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, lust of the flesh. And we on adultery. Watch this. Let's see what Proverbs 6 and 25 says. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 25. Lust not after the beauty 
Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Don't lust after her beauty in your mind. Brother, if brother, he, he over here in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the school, mind supposed to be on the word of God. His mind on, on his, his mind on breasts and cheeks. His mind on the two piece and the biscuit. And we ain't, and we ain't talking about from churches. That was his mind on, he was like, yeah, extra gravy. Extra gravy. Yeah, put some extra grave on it. That's what his mind is. Why? Because of all because of beauty. When you're supposed to see all that beauty you see in that woman, that's what you're supposed to see in your own wife. And once you start to see that in your wife, that's what's going to make your marriage better. You got to start to see all the things that you used to see in your wife. You got to continue to see that every day. That's why it says you, that we may age together. No matter how old y'all get, you supposed to still have that same love or continue to find different ways to uh, build stronger love as you get older. Because marriage, it, with marriage it comes, comes longevity. That's what you're going to want to have in your marriage. That's what being aged together, longevity. So watch this. Read Proverbs 6 and 25 again, officer. Proverbs chapter 6. Matter of fact, start at 23. 23. Cause, 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 cause this right here. Gonna let us know that we're supposed to walk in the uh, uh, spirit. Verse 23, because it says, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So watch this. Read what you got. For the commandment is a lamp. Uh huh. And the law is light. Uh huh. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. You see that? These, the, the improves of instructions are the ways of life. Just like the scriptures say uh, 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 in uh, John 6 and 63, these words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So watch this. This was going. Watch this. Keep going. To keep thee from the evil woman. Believe it or not, it said to keep you from the evil woman because some women will sit up there and go along with their brother that love to sleep with men with women. Hmm. You will have some sisters to sit up there and go along with it. So yes, the commandments is to keep you uh, uh, from the evil woman, from that beauty, uh, that that beautiful woman. Why read? From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. A brother think he got gang, she going to hit him with some gang. Instead of him telling her what to do and where to meet, she going to be letting him know everything. So watch this, read. Verse 25. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Why don't lust after her beauty in your heart, in your mind? Your mind. Read. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. And you know how they, and it crazy, brother. Hey, I told you, sister be having eyelids longer than what they put on their cars. You know them long eyelids that sister put on their cars? Then I sister get a brother. He all the time he thinking he doing something. She running all the game off on him. And he'll notice it. Why? Because of his desire. His lust that he in. What, why he don't understand? That flesh is weak. And why it's weak? It's weak because of that woman. It's weak because of that woman. So watch this. Let's go back to Galatians 5. It's weak because of that woman. Let's go back to Galatians 5. Start at verse 17. Starting at verse 17. Galatians chapter 5, verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, uh -huh. and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. And this, and this keeping the commandments, this is what your uh, lust is keeping you from. Your lust is keeping you from keeping the commandments and the faith in Christ, right? But if ye be led of the Spirit, mm -hmm. ye are not under the law. Come on. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, mm -hmm. which are these, adultery, uh -huh. fornication. Now we, uh, we dealt with adultery. Now it says fornication. That's another big thing in Israel. So watch this. Let's go to, because remember we say you got to kill off that old man and that old woman daily. So watch this. Let's go to 1 Peter 2, verse 11. First Peter 2, verse 11. Watch this. First Peter 2, verse 11. First Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Come on. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, uh -huh. abstain from fleshly lust. Abstain from what? From fleshly lust. Yeah, abstain from fleshly lust. The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. Abstain from it. Read. 
which war against the soul. Which war against the soul. This war against the spirit. Now give me that one that says he, a youthful lust. I think that's 2 Timothy. I think it's 2 Timothy. Okay, yeah, I'll praise. Watch this. 2 yes, yeah. Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lust, uh -huh. but follow righteousness. You see there, it says flee also youthful lust. Youthful lust. Those things you did when you was a youth, you got to flee those things. You got to let them go. That's the old man. Read. Faith. Faith. Charity. Uh-huh. Peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So that's what you got to abstain from. You got to abstain from uh, 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 those fleshly, those youthful lusts and those fleshly lusts that you have. This, the, and that's the, and that's, guess who that's dwelling in? It ain't dwelling in that man that's uh, 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 converted and uh, now walking in Christ. It's in that old man that he used to be. That's constantly coming up, tapping you on the shoulder, asking you, hey, uh, can I sub in the game? Can, can, uh, can you let me in for a minute? Hell no. Mm. No, uh <laughs> tell, you, you tell them I'm led by the spirit and I'm a ball hog. Mm. You ain't getting in this game, buddy. <laughs> for real. So, <laughs> so watch this. Let's go back to Galatians 5. So, for real. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, uh -huh. which are these, adultery, uh -huh. fornication. So watch this. Let's go to first, uh, first Thessalonians 4 and 3. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God. It says, this is the will of God. Will of God. Read. Will of God. Read. Even your sanctification. Even your sanctification. Read. That ye should abstain from fornication. That you should abstain from fornication. It said this is the will of God. And we know what the will of God is. <laughs> we, the, the commandments. The, man, read that again. That, see, first, the first Thessalonians, four, man, watch this. Read that again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God. Watch this. Matter of fact, start up. Just, just start in verse 1. Verse 1. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, uh -huh. that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please God. Now, how we going to walk and how we going to please God? Read. So you would abound more and more. That, why, why do we need to uh, please God so we can abound more and more? Read. For ye know what commandments we gave you. You see that? You see that? We, it said, for we know what commandments we gave you, read. By the Lord Jesus. Uh-huh. For this is the will of God. It's, this right here is the will of God. And as you keep reading, it says, now this is the will of God right here, read. Even your sanctification. It says, even this is your sanctification. I'm sanctified. Mm. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Read. That ye should abstain <laughs> from fornication. That's what you got to do. You got to abstain from fornication. That's what you got to do. You got to keep that old man. You got to kill that old man and that old woman every day. Mm. It says abstain from fornication. This for real. This is what we got to teach our people. It says to uh, 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 abstain from fornication. Now watch this. Give me that in 1 Corinthians 6. And I think it's 18. 1 Corinthians 6 and 18. We're talking about fornication. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Flee fornication. You see what the Bible is telling you what to, what to do? The Bible is telling us what to do. This is what we must do. Why? Because it's the will of God. It, it ain't no maybe. No, nah, this is what we must do. This is the will of God. Read on. Flee fornication. It says flee. What do flee mean? Hell, run. Run. Hell, get like that track star. Run. You better run for it. I'm telling you, run. Run. Yeah, I'd rather be that damn laughing stock for running instead of being that laughing stock for, to, uh, uh, for committing that act. Read. Every sin that a man doeth uh -huh. is without the body. It says every sin a man doeth is without the body. Come on. 
But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. You see that? It says you we that commit fornication, those that commit fornication, guess what? It says you doing it against your own body. Watch this, Rick. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? See, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. We thought the only way we could defile our bodies was through uh, us through smoke and through different types of drugs. Mm. Now, if you could defile your body also through fornication. Mm. Your body is the temple of God. And you finna let it come back. Some dude come defile the hell out of it. Just do what he just do what he wants to with your body, with your temple. Hey, that's what, they, that, 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 that's what the enemies did. That's what the Greeks and Romans did. They did what the hell they wanted to do with our temple. And now you let some dude out here do what the hell he want to do to your temple. Same way with us men. We so gullible and they, we so ignorant. Sometimes we tend not to think at all. Only thing we do, only thing we see is beauty, not knowing this sister setting us the hell up. Setting you the hell up. Not knowing you don't see, brother be thinking we slick and be want to have hidden cameras. These sisters be doing the same thing. For they can blackmail the hell out you. Hey, how you think them trainers be getting them, uh, them NBA players and them NFL players? They have them hidden cameras. And they be, we be thinking we smart. Yeah, okay, man. That's why a lot of us be in messed up situations. Because we be thinking we smarter. And they be already one step ahead of who it be? It be Satan. It be Satan. Satan already be having the ups on you. So watch this. Go from there. Uh, keep, matter of fact, finish it up on verse 19. Verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Which is in you. Uh-huh. Which ye have of God. Which ye have of who? Of God. You see that? Which ye have of God. Read. And ye are not your own. You, 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 this ain't, this temporary. This ain't yours. It's temporary. Man, that's so what they be saying. It's my body. I <laughs> hey, do what I want to do. It, it, it's my body. I can do what the hell I want to do. So you telling me with your body, what you wanted to do was just let all these dudes run in you. So, <laughs> why is it read verse 20? Verse 20. <laughs> For ye, for ye are bought with a price. You, you, you bought with a price. Read. Therefore glorify God in your body. Glorify who? Glorify God in your body. That, did it say dope, boy? Glorify God in your body. What if, it, it, did it say Bigfoot, brother? Glorify God in your body. You see who you supposed to be glorifying? With your God. God. Not Tyrone. Not Rico. Watch this. Read. And in your spirit. It says your body. It says, and what else? And in your spirit. And your spirit. Why? Because every time you sex a man or a man sex a woman, you, takes on, you take on his or her spirit. That's why I brother be like, bro, she's crazy as hell, but I got her sprawl. Now nah, she has just took upon your spirit, Negro. Yeah, he is. Hey, bro. Hey, I laid the smack down. Yeah, you ain't laid no damn smack down. <laughs> she took upon your spirit, that's all. Mm. Brother be talking about, man, she crazy. Man, she ain't crazy, just took upon your spirit. Brother, you ain't did nothing. Brother be, hey, I'm telling you, we be we give ourselves too much. See, I'm gonna tell you something. Us and this truth too. We give ourselves, we give ourselves too much credit. We, all the credit goes to the Father. All these classes that we do every time we go out to teach the word of God at camp. Uh, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day. Guess who give? Guess who get all that glory? Not us. The Most High do. That's why we give all glory to the Father and to the Son. For real, though. Watch this. Let's go back to Galatians. Matter of fact, keep going down because it continued in uh, 1 Corinthians. It, kept, it continued in 1 Corinthians. Just go jump down to 7 and start at verse 1. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 1. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me. The, the things he wrote unto me. The things that he wrote unto me. Read. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. It's not good for a man to touch a woman. Come on. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. There go that word again. To avoid fornication. Do you men and do you sisters hear that? You, you men that be burning and you sisters that be burning. Read. 
Let every man have his own wife, uh -huh. and let every woman have her own husband. You see that? And my, it says we got to have our own wives and our own husbands. But the crazy thing is when she read the next verse. Watch this. Verse 3. Let the husband render unto the wife uh -huh. do but never. Do you see that? And, and in marriages, you won't have to worry about fornication or adultery, which was the first two of the works of the flesh. You would not have to worry about that if the husband and the older wife was not rendering, uh, uh, I mean, if the husband and wife was doing benevolence. But sometimes that wife can be doing all that she, uh, all that she can. And that man and her husband still will have their desire and their lust for another woman. Why? Because that's the old man in him he ain't killed yet. That's the old man in him that he, they're saying uh, a 40 is the new 20. That's the old man in him. So guess what you got to do? You got to fight off that old man daily. Matter of fact, give me that in 2 Corinthians 4, and I think it started at 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Mm -hmm. For which cause we faint not, mm -hmm. but though our outward man perish. That, that, outward man, that, that outward man is that old man. That's what need to perish. That's what you. That's what you're supposed to kill every day. Give him a headshot every day. Read. Yet the inward man mm -hmm. is renewed. The inward man is who? Renewed. That man that's in, that's in Christ. And he's what? Renewed. Re who? Renewed. He, he, he changed his mind. He didn't change his walk. He didn't change his ways. He didn't change the way he think. He has done all of these things. Why? Because he's new, renewed, renewed in what? In Christ. He's renewed in Christ. Why? Because first, guess what? We was working for Satan. Now you in this truth, guess what? You are renewed. You are a new creature in Christ, and you got to kill that old man every day. Watch this. Finish it up, officer. The inward man is renewed day by day. You see that? Day by day. This is a daily battle. It says day by day. Then you know this thing is an ongoing process. You got to, it's ongoing. That's why we got to be diligent in the word of God. Be diligent in keeping the commandments and walking in truth. Watch this. Finish that up. Verse 17. For our light affliction. Our what? Our light affliction. You see that? Our light affliction. And what did King David say in his affliction? Hmm. Give me that in Psalms right fast. <laughs> we, and we, and we, tend to, we, when we tend to fall out of, uh, we tend to lose faith through our affliction. Hmm. And not knowing through our forefathers and foremothers through their affliction, it builded their faith. Right. And it strengthened their spirit. That's who we got to take after. We got to take after these examples that our uh, forefathers four, four and foremothers left for us. Watch this. Read what you got, officer. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 71. Read. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. You see that? King David said, it has been good for me that I have been afflicted. Why? That I might learn thy statutes. That he might learn what? Thy statutes. Thy statutes. He said, being afflicted, he was going to learn thy statutes. And watch this. Read that in uh, uh, Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. For our light affliction. Our light affliction. The things that we going through, this, this is our light affliction. And while we going through it, that we may learn what? To keep the ways of the Lord, to keep the commandments. Read. Which is but for a moment. Which is for a what? For a moment. We got to understand the things that we going through and in this captivity is only for a moment. But when you ain't walking in the spirit and you walking in the flesh and you thinking carnal, you ain't going to understand this, this only for a moment. You're going to be tired. You're going to be like, man, we ain't in the captivity yet. Hey, you ain't keeping the commandments and the faith in Christ yet. We all got to get right too. Uh, one third of Israel got to wake up. 144,000 has to be sealed of the nation of Israel. We got a hard job to do. Watch this. Read what you got. Which is but for a moment. It says, which is but for a moment. Come on. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You see that? Working for us. Working for us. If we do what? Keep the commandments in the faith in Christ. So watch this. Let's go back to Galatians. It is heavy, Cap, because time fly by when you're doing the work. 
<laughs> hey, it do. Where it's gonna feel like it's forever captivity. Yeah. Extended. They ain't doing the work. The, it, hey, it, that's why you said only for a moment. But the brother, like you said, that ain't doing the work. He gonna weigh heavy on him. Mm-hmm. He gonna think it, all this time. Uh, why? Cause he idle as hell. Right. When you idle, that's what your mind gonna start to think foolishness. Mm-hmm. For real though, watch this. Go back to Galatians five. Galatians chapter five, verse nineteen. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these: adultery, mm-hmm. fornication, uh-huh. uncleanness. It says uncleanness, right? Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness, right? Idolatry. It says idolatry. Now give me that in Colossians. Uh, last scripture we're gonna get to Colossians three and start at verse five. <coughs> the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse five. Watch this. Mortify therefore your members. Meaning destroy these members right here. Come on. Which are upon the earth. And they are upon earth. Read. Fornication. And they will manifest themselves within the body, which is fornication. Read. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Read. Inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. You got to destroy these things with this within the body. Come on. Evil concupiscence. Evil concupiscence. Right? And covetousness. And covetousness, which is what? Which is idolatry. You see that? Which is idolatry. Verse 6 now. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. The wrath of God going to come upon the children of disobedience, the ones that like to walk in the flesh and not in the spirit. Read. Right? Verse 7, in the which ye also walk sometime when ye live in them. It says, and ye, it says, in the which ye also walk sometimes when ye lived in them. So look, y'all, this today's class, we're gonna finish it up next week. Uh, uh abstain from fleshly lust. And now that we see that that those lusts is ain't just a, 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 a sexual thing. That lust can be a lot of different things that your mind and that you desire. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this today's class, y'all. New York finna get ready to come on. Hey, shalom. Most high in Christ. Bless. Happy Sabbath, Israel.